I wanted to come on and show you some cute new door hangers that I got for the door hanger of the month. I've got a cute little sloth, and I think I'm going to paint him actually right now. And then I also have a bumblebee. We're not going to paint her right now. We'll probably paint her maybe this weekend. But anyways, doesn't everybody love sloths? I think they're adorable. Go ahead and paint him. Let's see, I am going to use, I think I'm gonna use these colors, uh, Chocolate Sprinkle, Warm Buff, and Nutmeg Brown. They are all from Apple Barrel. Never painted a sloth before, so I don't know how he'll turn out, but we will just paint him and see. Preston is over playing with the neighbors. Hi, Vicky. So he's not here to entertain us tonight. And when I get painting, I don't get, I'm not very talkative. So if I'm not talking, that's why. All right, here we go. We'll paint our sloth. I'm going to do the um, warm buff, the light color on our little guy's face. Right? Yeah, because look, I'm going to paint him like my my mug here, my friend. So I'm using him to pick out my colors so the inside of his face will be lighter. Vicki, are you painting today? Just so you guys know, I do still have a few of those kits left that I posted last week um, that come with the paint, the aprons, paint brushes, comes with everything that you need to get started painting. And then also um, one project. And those are on my website if anybody needs um, the link, I can go ahead and put the link back in here when I'm done on the live. I haven't painted in a couple of days, so I wanted to get down here. I couldn't wait to get down here after work so that I could paint these little guys. They actually came in yesterday or the day before, or maybe yesterday. Usually when something new comes in, I come downstairs and paint it right away, so. I might have to go back over this. I don't like all the brush strokes. Pink. Should we make his little cheeks pink? Because uh, obviously he's not a real sloth. I don't think that they have little marks there on their face. So maybe we'll make those pink. Anybody? Pink? Pink for his cheeks? Yes or no? I have to take a bigger brush. I don't like those paint strokes in there. Brush strokes. Smooth it out a little bit. Alright, that's better. All right, well, I'm gonna go with pink for the cheeks because I think that it will be cute. Let's do... I'm gonna use this one. It is Pink Blossom from Craftsmart. And I just 
need a little itty bitty brush for this one. are a little bit more shaky than normal today so not staying in my line so there's this cute little cheekies and then let's see so his nose on this guy hmm his face is a little bit different than, than what I've got on my mug Those brush strokes are showing up in there. All right, I am going to do his nose. Hmm. I think I'll do his nose this darker color, which was the chocolate sprinkle from Apple Barrel. It's blending because my other paint's still wet. So, hey, look at you guys can't even see what I'm doing. There you go. Now you can. Sorry about that. Forgot to move the camera. All right, and then I'm gonna move this guy out of the way. All right, then I think I think it's. Belly needs to be the light color too, so I need some more of that. And that was the warm buff again with Apple Barrel. And I don't even worry about mixing or not mixing, I don't even worry about um, rinsing my paintbrush off very often. So just go back in there and paint his little belly that lighter color. Hey, Grandpa. And I'm just like outlining with a smaller brush because I don't like all the brush strokes that it's given me. So I'm going to use my bigger brush to actually fill that in. And I just was, um, I mentioned that it's the door hanger of the month. I I think we're not starting it yet because we're already in April. So for the month of May, we're going to start Door Hanger at the Month Club. And you can, you'll either be able to purchase these already made up if you want me to paint them for you each month. Or you'll be able to purchase a kit that will come with um, the colors that you need and a couple of brushes as well as the um, cutout. And you can paint them yourself. So that's going to start in May. I'm just gonna go back up here and put some more of this on this top part because I don't like the way his face looks. It's still too brush strokey for me. Oops, I got my pink all over the place. All right, if Bre uh, Preston was here, he would tell you that you cannot ruin a painting, so we will fix that. <sighs> Telling myself you cannot ruin a painting as I spread darker colors everywhere. <clears throat> All right, and then... I think his body will all be the darker color. So, I'm gonna paint this tree branch. I'm gonna do the branch, um, the middle color, the medium brown color that I've got, which was the nutmeg brown from Apple Barrel. Just so it's a little bit different color than his body.
what is everybody up to tonight? Tuesday night, I think a lot of people are on spring break right now. The kids. Anybody doing anything fun? <laughs> Hi, Chris. there. I kind of like the look of the extra brush strokes in this one, or on this spot at least I should say, because um, it's a tree branch and tree branches have a lot of texture, so that kind of just adds to it. And while we're here, I'm going to go ahead and do my sides. Sorry guys, I get quiet when I concentrate on my, on my itches, I guess. Alright, almost done with this branch. far and then I think I need to get some green for my leaves just a second I always like to mix two different greens when I'm doing leaves because it just makes them gives them some more texture so I'm gonna use green machine and lime tree from apple barrel and there's just a few little leaves so I don't need very much of that whoops that's too much again make sure that's dry and I just get both colors on my brush like that don't even blend them and then it just gives it some more dimension I don't know if you can see that in the camera instead of it being a solid color you can see the different colors in there so it just makes it stand out a little bit more it looks more real And I'll do my sides while I'm over here. Whoops, I got it on my branch, but that's all right. We'll fix that. awkward spot to get to.
another um, coat of either of those. Might do another coat, another on the uh, warm buff. That's kind of see-through a little bit. A little bit, so we might do some more there. not matter that I got out of the lines like that because that will get covered up. I'm going to go up here and fix my pink cheeks. fix my nose. Messed both of those up when I went back over the face. Perfect. Now when I look at him, I'm not sure what I want to do for his the color of his, his body. I don't know if I want him to be this dark. I kind of want his eyes to be that color. Hmm. Let me see if I have another brown. different brown that I want to use either so I might make them make him the same color as the tree now and I didn't want to do that but that's okay oops I don't know why I'm doing this right now I should probably do it after I paint the other color on there because it's just gonna get messed up But see, I think he'll look cute that way. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna paint him the color of the tree. That way you can see his hair and his eyes and things better. So let me find a different brush. walk around with paint on my hands. This doesn't look very good because it's brown, but all the time I'm always nice and colorful. Mm, I think I hear Buddy. Sure, if that was him, he'll be down here next. So, he actually gets mad if I come on live and I don't bring him down with me. He likes to come on and talk to everybody. be so cute so cute does anybody else love sloths I think they're adorable they have their little smiley face and they're so slow Alright, I'm going to paint over these, well, 
I shouldn't do that yet because those are wet, they'll smear. So I'm gonna wait to do that part of him. See, the lighter color is still wet, so it's just smearing on here as well. So I'll definitely have to go back over it with another coat, but that is all right. go all the way by his eye yet because I don't want that to smear everywhere. Well, let's see. Maybe I can do it. Not too bad. We'll fix it when we go through with the next coat. that time. There we go. Now I will do my sides, my edges. done. It got quiet upstairs so Preston must not have come home like I thought. What should we name our sloth? He should have a name. I think he should be a boy too. I know he's got cute pink little rosy cheeks, but I think he should be a boy. So tell me what you think we should name him. And then I will go back over. Whoops, I didn't do his hands. I gotta get his hands done up here. See new people coming on. Tell me what you think we should name our sloth. He needs a name. darker to match the darker spots on his face.
All right, I don't have anybody on here live with me, so if you come on and you're watching the replay, send me some ideas for our sloth's name. He needs a name. I have no idea what a good name is for a sloth. And actually, I have my cute little cup on my desk that needs to be named too, so we can have two names for our sloth. I did not paint the bottom of these, so let me go back and do that. Goodness, I see spots I messed up here too. That is okay. I will go and fix them now. All right. Isn't he so cute? I think he's going to be adorable. All right, so what I'm going to do is Wait for this, whoops. Wait for this to dry so I can go back over it and fix some of the spots. And then I'm going to do my details on it and I will post him when I've got them all done. But again, he's gonna be available for purchase on my website as the door hanger of the month. And that means you can either purchase him finished and I will paint him for you or if you want to do it yourself kit, I will have those available as well. And that will include the paint, a few brushes, and the cutout for you to paint your own door hanger. All right, guys. Have a good Tuesday.